it going everyone? Today's video we're going to be doing some more Tommy Kyra parts. So, I received this box actually uh, quite a few days ago but I just thought I would do a video over it now. And this is from, uh, from Japan Auction Parts. So, this is who I've been getting my Tommy Kyra parts from. They are an authorized dealer of them. As you can see in all the videos that I have shown, they were provide certificates of authenticity, genuine certificate. Yep. Oh goodness! And here's what came in the package. So this came in the package. Uh, pretty cool little uh, little toy cars, I think. I haven't opened it up yet. I don't know if I want to. I kind of want to. You know, we'll open it up right now. Screw it. See what came inside. That gum. Looks like gum, huh? That's interesting. Well, so I guess this is a little stand for it. And then here is the car itself. Oh, that's dope. Little, little GTR. Pretty detailed too, from the looks of it. Damn. I guess that's supposed to go somewhere like that. Ah, that's pretty cool. Little. I guess info on it. Well, that is definitely going on my desk. So it came with that. A uh, little Kit Kat Japanese candy. Pretty cool. Uh, air freshener. These do smell really good. I have a couple of them. One in my car right now. Oh, that went in that box. And then, uh... Something else in here. All right, well, I guess we'll go to the parts. Here is the radiator cap and cover. I believe this is a 1.1 bar, I think. Uh, they said 1.3 bar, but then at the bottom it said they are now 1.1 bar. Uh, still an upgrade from stock, so that's cool. And then I got an oil dipstick cover. Whoops, I just fell out. Right there, and that goes on your dipstick. First up is the radiator cap. Now, uh, I do have this cover on already, this kind of junk one I got off Wish, which I kind of, uh, I, I did a video over that. Uh, I need to get the screw out. A little tool for it. Where did that go? Hope I didn't lose it already. Oh, there it is. All right, so here's a little tool for it. I'm just gonna rip that out of the package, okay. So first off is to get this one off. I guess they're all universal, so. Well, I guess that's one way to do it. That fell all the way at the bottom. In the black hole, you guys can't see that. Well, there we go. That was easy. All right, now I've never taken this off before, so hopefully, warning, never open when hot. Well, the car is not hot, so. I think I just twist and uh, it should just come off, right? Maybe not. Okay, twist. And you not want to come out of there? Why is this not coming off? What the fuck? Okay. Uh, that's not coming off. All right, well, I got it off. The trick was to just spin it a lot more. <laughs> and it came off and there's coolant dripping everywhere from it. Kind of created like its own seal, you can see. Okay, oh shit. Why does it keep coming out? All right, we're just gonna lay that upside down, put that over there. Put that over here. Okay. Now we'll grab the new one and uh, I'm not really sure how to. Maybe I need to start this way. Oop. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Oh, nope. Just breaking shit. 
I don't know how to get this one on now. I got it on. So note to self, take the cover off of it to get the cap on, because it's a lot easier. So do that first, and then you'll be able to put the cover on just by the screws. And it's gonna look something like that. That looks pretty good. Matches, uh, you know, this is, I think this is anodized. It's not uh, like polished like that is, but this is dirty as shit anyway, so it matches sort of. And she's on, ooh, look at that. A lot better than that red, you know, that red cheap one I had, which I'm gonna try and reach in my engine bay right now to get it. Oh, you guys might be able to hear it. Oh, I think I got it. Fuck, that hurts. Got it. A little cheap junk one. It's aluminum though. I mean, I guess it's good quality. Ooh, what is that? That wasn't in there. Well, yep, so I could junk that or give that away, I don't know. Now it's on for the dipstick cover, which is, you can see right here. And there's a little screw that holds it. Look at that reflection though. Damn. Okay, so here's the screw that holds it. I'm guessing you take it off, clamp it around, and then clamp the other side in. You know, just kind of goes around it. I don't know if I want to put it on this way or this way. So I feel like either way, you're not really gonna see it. Maybe that way, because going on this way would be kind of weird. Yeah, we'll put it on this way, like that. I wish I could twist this to face that way. Maybe if, if I were to heat up this metal, I can get the yellow cap to twist more straight. So you can actually, so it'll sit like that, you can actually see it. But uh, I guess we'll do that later. And it's on there. <clears throat> um, guys, that was literally the most snug fit ever um i actually thought it didn't fit it was like that perfect um and getting this little screw back in was a uh, freaking anxiety attack to hell because uh i really should have just took the dipstick out and did it but i left it in there trying to keep the screw on the screwdriver and tilt it this way to get it in um yeah never don't do that. If you buy this, don't do what I did, because that was just nerve-wracking as hell. Um, well, that completes the uh, two parts for uh, that install on those couple Tommy Tire parts, and uh, definitely be purchasing more in the future. Uh, I just have to uh, take a little break now, not spending too much money on anything. Uh, but I'll show you guys since you're on this video, I'll show you guys the neck pillows I bought because I put them in another video, but I figured since this is Tommy Kyra parts only, I'll put them in here. So uh, here are the uh, neck pillows. They look so, so good. I am so happy. Um, now they don't really match anything in the interior yet, but I do plan to get a Tommy Kyra airbag cover uh, I had to get a custom made, but I do plan on that to get the turtle maybe in red right there. I think that would be cool. Maybe in the future. I don't want to get rid of these seats because I like them, but if I do were to get if I were to get aftermarket seats, I'll get the Tommy Kyra turtle and logo here in red as well. Just to match that because they look really good. But for sure, airbag cover, that will for sure happen. Maybe shift knob if they bring that back for the automatics. Don't know if they will. Definitely a clock. That'd be cool. Well, yeah. There's my girlfriend is waking up. Or fiance. Fiance. Yeah, if you guys that miss if you guys missed that video of the one I made in Cancun and stuff I proposed. She's my fiance now. I keep thinking girlfriend. But yeah. So hope you guys liked that video. See you in the next one. Deuces.